wonderful Christmas. And remember this, Christmas isn't about receiving, it's about giving. In Toronto, we are having a white Christmas. <laughs> Today, we're going to show you a plant that is impossible to grow in this cold climate in Toronto. Guys, you might know already what this plant is because we gave you some hints in the last video. It's mango! Yeah! Guys, you don't get a mango plant from a nursery in Toronto. You have to get a mango seed. You just have to go to a grocery store, get a mango, peel out the mango, peel out the fruit, and then you get this, what I'm holding in my hand right now, a mango seed. When you get your mango from the grocery store, and then when you peel it, you're gonna find this seed guarded by a fleshy skin. This is the hardest part to make a mango tree. Make sure not to damage the seed. Soak it in water for a few hours. We soaked the, the seed hole in the water yesterday. When you soak it in water, the seed coat will become soft. Look how soft it is. Then you can carefully extract the seed and be and don't damage it. If you damage the seed, your mango tree will not grow. Guys, you may think after this step, the only thing we're gonna do after this is just plant the seed and that's it, the video is end. But before that, we need to tell you something. Ripeness. Before you bring the mango home, check if it's ripe. If it's ripe, then you're good to go. Well, if it's not ripe, then don't be sad. Just one extra step. Just bring it home, put it on a table or something like that at room temperature, but watch it. See how it stays there because it, if you leave it there too long, it might ripe. Rot. It might rot. So guys, if you want the mango to grow, it can't be unripe, and it can't be overripe and rot. It has to be the perfect ripe, the middle ripe. So now, we took off the skin from the seed, and we gave it a nice bath. You should put three toothpicks on a mango seed, and then drop it into a cup of water, and and don't submerge it fully, just just make it like, like float like a boat. Make sure not to damage your mango seeds by jamming the uh, toothpicks, like making it go through it. This mango seed has life in it. Treat it nicely with a lot of love. You can pick two of the, me two of the methods to grow these seeds. You can pick the toothpick method or the kitchen towel method, like this. Now, when you're done with folding, then you have to... Like this. Do this. Guys, now you're gonna seal it through like how I did, then you're gonna blow air into it. This is for the plant, now you're gonna seal it fully. We showed you two ways of growing a mango tree, this way and this way. You can choose whatever method you, you want to do out of these two. In the next three weeks, this mango will start sprouting roots. 
guys, this is the result of the plants after one month. And this has one, two, three, four, and five leaves. Two of them are very big. The other three are kind of small. But on all of these, all of them are medium or small. They, each one of the leaves are the size of my finger. After three months, the mango plant will be like these. Plants are just like humans. This plant is like me, a little taller. And this plant is like me, a little shorter. The reason why these plants aren't the same to each other, there are many reasons. There aren't just one. One is probably like a genetic cause that or, made this taller. Or not enough nutrients. Or, or sunlight. But it's tremendous progress for three months. Guys, we grew these plants six months ago. So we grew them in the summer break because we had nothing to do in the summer break. And we were bored. Look how big they've grown over six months. This plant has grew its own ecosystem and it has algae now. 